Hey, it's Derek Delay of VibrantVegan.com. A while ago, I made a video called Does Eating Meat Make You More Manly? In the video, I argue that eating meat makes one less manly because eating animal products is associated with an increase in impotence, prostate cancer, and I also argue that meat eaters have lower testosterone level than vegans. Well, I just got a comment on that video from someone called 1957 Stan. This is a response to 1957 Stan. Instead of typing it out, I thought I'd just do a little video for 1957 Stan. So this is it. Uh, 1957 Stan's comment to me was, let me read this to you real quick. He said, yep, I need a carrot head telling me what a man is? What a joke. Just go on with your feeble existence, okay? Here's a news flash for you, moron. There are just as many cancer agents in your food as there are in mine. Unless you grow everything you eat, there are no exceptions. So, 1957 Stan. First, I can tell that my video hit a nerve with you because you started out with name calling and insults. And I'm not sure how this furthers your argument at all. Maybe it makes you feel more manly to degrade people that you disagree with, I'm not sure, but it doesn't really help your argument one bit. In my experience, when people start out with name calling and insults, it's because they feel threatened and they lack any evidence to support their own point of view. Is this the case with you? I'd like to see your evidence, 1957 Stan. And after you're done with the insults and name calling, then you move on to your argument that there are just as many cancer causing agents in my food as there are in yours. Well, if you do a quick, this won't take very long, do a quick search at scholar.google.com. This is where you're gonna get search results that are peer reviewed research articles, okay? Put in the search terms vegetables plus cancer and meat plus cancer. What you're gonna get are thousands of peer-reviewed research articles demonstrating that the higher intake of vegetables, the lower rate of cancer. And the higher intake of meat and animal products, the higher rate of cancer. So 1957 Stan, the science doesn't support your argument. Now, if you have any peer-reviewed research demonstrating that your point of view is in any way supported, then I'll be willing to continue with this conversation. Okay, I looked at your profile on YouTube, 1957 Stan, and you start out with a fairly long bit about how, according to a report by the, uh, let me make sure I get this right, the Congressional Sportsmen's Association, I'm sure a completely unbiased organization, that according to this, Congressional Sportsman's Foundation uh, that hunting and fishing have major positive economic impacts in just about every state in our nation. And so you're basically arguing that hunting and fishing, killing, is good because it has a positive economic impact. Now, guess what? When your neighbor's house burns down, that's good for the economy. Not very good for your neighbor, but good for the economy. Every car crash is good for the economy. Every heart attack is good for the economy. Every war is good for the economy, has a positive impact on the economy. So based on your logic, we should be supporting and promoting house fires, car crashes, disease, and war because it's good for the economy. Now, I don't know about you, 1957 Stan, but those are things I would rather have less of in the world, not more of. I'd be willing to forego all of those things, even if it's going to cause a short-term negative impact in our current economy. An economy that's based on suffering, death, and violence is not an economy I want to be part of. It's not an economy I want to support, 1957 Stan. How about you? Now, your profile says that your interests are making archery like bow hunting equipment and martial arts. You say that, uh, let me make sure I get this right as well, you say that good fighting is good fighting. So obviously your identity is based on killing and fighting. Uh, your sense of self, 1957 Stan, is based on violence. Violence doesn't make the world a better place. Wouldn't you rather leave the world 
better than you found it? Wouldn't you rather live your life in such a way that it makes everything and everyone you come into contact with better because they've known you 1957 Stan? Wouldn't that feel so much better to you? Now I have a question for you 1957 Stan. Are you so emotionally attached to your current concept of self based on violence that you'll ignore all of these facts you know all of the facts that a diet based on animal products isn't healthy for you you know humans have absolutely no nutritional requirements for the flesh or mammary secretions of animals it doesn't matter if they are raised on factory farms family farms or if you go kill them in the wild you have no nutritional requirement for that flesh stand so killing is unnecessary you're committing unnecessary violence I understand that life feeds on life I get that I know that my goal is to do as little harm as possible while living my life joyously okay and it boggles my mind I have no idea why anyone would want to commit unnecessary violence why anyone would want to kill unnecessarily so my question back to my question are you so emotionally attached to your current concept of self that you're going to ignore all of these facts or 1957 Stan are you man enough to take meat off your menu are you man enough to stop the violence are you man enough to be compassionate are you man enough to be caring that's my question, 1957 Stan. What's your response?